Every bride who attends the Bridal Extravaganza show is eligible to appear on the next billboard. Today, the Bridal Extravaganza has brought together Ventura's Bridal, The Bloom Room for Flowers, Talio Beckham Makeup Artistry to provide a flawless look, and Lloyd's Photography, all to create this season's hot bridal look. Your face will be center stage all day during your wedding, and that is why your makeup has to be perfect. Today we called on Talio Beckham Makeup Artistry. Today we are going for a soft romantic look. Uh, right now I'm just prepping the hair. Uh, we're curling it and setting it, that way it uh, stays a little bit longer since it's gonna be down. Definitely if you have oily thinner hair, I recommend uh, doing it up because you know it's not gonna fall. But if your hair holds curl, definitely do it do it down. If you're the kind of person that doesn't really know what you want to do with your hair, definitely do a trial run. For the day of, we'll know for sure what you're going to want um, done. For makeup, we're going to go gonna go for a smoky yet natural look. We're going to go with brown neutral tone, but yet smoky to where your eyes will pop and it'll give you that wow effect. Airbrushing is going to give you more of a softer, flawless, natural look. It's going to give you the same look throughout the night. You will start off looking fresh and at the end of the night you will still look just as fresh as you did in the beginning of the day. It's really all about the gown. Today we've got Jessica Bennett with us from Ventura's Bridal to talk about the latest fashions. I am a bridal consultant at Ventura's Bridal, so I actually personally help the brides one-on-one -on -one come up with what are they looking for in their wedding gown and how to select their gown and make sure that they get the most perfect gown for their big day. Well, this year we decided we wanted to style three different looks for the Billboard Bride photo shoot. Our first look we thought was the perfect modern day princess gown. It's a beautiful dropped waist ball gown. The skirt is a full tulle gown with beautiful draping. The bodice is entirely encrusted in Swarovski crystals because you know we have to have some glitter. The second look we brought is another ball gown but more fun and flirty. It's again with a fully Swarovski encrusted bodice but the skirt is tons of ruffles and tulle with a beautiful cathedral length train and a corset back. It is just so fun and playful and we thought that fit a lot of our Houston brides as well. Now the third look, I have to be honest, I had a little trouble coming up with what to say about it because the dress in person is just breathtaking. It's a beautiful lace mermaid gown completely covered with pearls and rhinestones and a ton of Swarovski crystals as well. It's got a gorgeous sweetheart neckline with a little cutout that's really, it's kind of sexy, but it's really, really pretty. Nowadays, a lot of our brides are looking for a second reception dress to change into. A lot of the girls are anxious to get out of these big, heavy ball gowns and want a short second dress, which is why at the last extravaganza we did the gown giveaway on the short dress. Weddings are going into all hours of the night now. So the girls want, are anxious to get out of the gown and change into something fun and kind of flirty to, to, to party in. And the, with something short, they can party all night long. The party doesn't have to end early and the guests can stay forever and it can be really a night to remember. When it comes to selecting your photographer, you really want to feel comfortable. Today we've chosen Aaron from Lloyd's Photography. Lloyd's Photography has been around since 1972. We do all types of photography and video production work. Today we'll be working on the photography shoot for the billboard for the bridal extravaganza. We try to put a uh, traditional but very contemporary spin on all of our photography. I think when a bride's looking for the perfect photographer, she needs to make sure that she sits down and meets with them for for a while so she understands her personality and the type of images that they can capture and make sure it fits for her. You know, every photographer and videographer shoot completely different and the bride needs to make sure that she asks the questions to, to make sure she gets what she wants. And she needs to ask the questions of who's going to be at my wedding. Um, if you hire a company, you want to make sure the person you're meeting with or one of the employees of that company is going to be at your wedding, not somebody that you don't know or what their work looks like. You need to be able to laugh and joke with them, but as a professional and as a client, they need to be able to tell the professional, I'm looking for something like this, or I would rather have something like this. Having an opinion from a client and then putting a professional spin on it really makes it uh, beneficial for both sides. The look and feel of the bouquet you carry changes often. That's why we've brought Kaya from the Bloom Room to show us what's hot this season. The Bloom Room is based in Houston. We focused on floral design and designing of events. We also have rental decor such as linens, backdrops, uh, pipe and drape, 
um, a lot of non-floral centerpieces, so if someone wants to opt to not have flowers in their wedding for environmental purposes or just their taste or style, and we have a lot of non-floral items also. I've selected to do three different designs of bridal bouquets. I went with orange and yellows, kind of fall colors, a different take on it. I love the clustering of the flowers. This is a bouquet that I made, and I, I love the oranges and the fall colors with a little bit of the yellow, but I love the take on doing the clusters. I did the mini calla leaves, the garden roses, ranunculus, billy balls. I just love the textures and that it's not so round and perfect. It's kind of like we gathered it from a garden and kind of just clustered it together. The next bouquet that we made is vintage inspired. We love the soft yellows and the peonies with the garden roses. We love a couple of the brooches, um, the pewters, the creams, the champagnes, the silvers. I just love the way they play on each other. Vintage inspired and very classy. This is another design that we did and of course we played off the bright colors. We love the play of the dark purples with the pinks and the yellows. We added in the greens. Um, it's just very fun. It puts a smile on your face and uh, it smells wonderful. People are liking simple simplicity over the huge gaudy bouquets that we've been seeing for the last few years. When a bride comes in, it's nice for them to have done a little bit of research. It's nice to at least know their colors. If they have gone online and kind of looked at pictures to kind of get an idea of their taste and their style, that really helps. And like I tell my brides, it's not to copy a design, it's to kind of get an idea of what your expectations are and what your style is. I'm having a whole lot of fun. <laughs> like, it's just so much fun. Getting your makeup done, getting your hair done. I don't know, you feel like a princess. <laughs> For complete information, log on to www.bridalextravaganzashow. Every bride who attends the show is eligible. It could happen to you.